Well, good morning, friends. Glad to have you here, and I also want to say hi to our folks that are joining us on Facebook Live. I, I think there's probably more people that are watching online than there are here. At least I kind of hope so, because we're, we're slim picking. So, uh, so glad to have you guys there, and then oh, and those that might be listening out in the parking lot, which reminds me, Bear, uh, Bear I did not turn on the, uh, the receiver this morning. Hey, Bear, yes. would you mind, did you happen to turn on the outdoor receiver, the FM station? No. Oh, can you double check it? All right, thanks. I want to make sure that our folks out there are, are also in on this as well. Uh, it's, it's the second week of Advent, the Christmas season, uh, this anticipation is building. And so uh, we're very thankful and grateful for a season that brings hope, especially in uh, a year like this, Amen. <laughs> Uh, so uh, we welcome you to Evergreen Covenant Church, and uh, we're going to continue celebrating and worshiping and uh, celebrating the anticipation of Christ this season. Let's begin with prayer. Uh, Father, we give you thanks. Uh, you're a great God, and we thank you for the hope that Christmas brings to us. Uh, we thank you that in the midst of all that has gone on this year, uh, that we have a solid and a firm foundation in Christ. Uh, we thank you that we're able to look towards you. Uh, in fact, uh, it's so necessary for us to look towards you rather than looking toward the news headlines or uh, our current circumstances. Uh, but it is in you that we are able to find our stability. And so we look towards you even as the, the, those wise men looked toward the star that led them to the place where Jesus Christ was. Uh, we too uh, want to return to the place where Christ is in our lives so that we know that we cannot be shaken. Uh, so we give you thanks this morning and we have great reason for hope and we have great reason for worshiping you. And so this is what we do. We turn our eyes towards you. We lift our voices towards you. You are our God. We are your people. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, for those that are indoors, why don't you go ahead and stand. You can take your hymnals. And we're going to turn to page 272. 272, we'll be singing, While Shepherds Watched Their Flocks. Just kept going. I thought, well, I'll know which line to skip. But as I read the next one, I thought, we need that one too. We need so. 
<laughs> just went with all of them. We're going to turn to page 743. 743, wonderful peace, and we'll be singing verses 1, 2, and 4. be seated. Uh, we're going to move into our time of uh, praise reports and sharing of prayer concerns and updates on uh, things that we've been praying for. If you have updates, um, I know that uh, Bob Garrison, he was supposed to have shoulder surgery, but because of the COVID and the situation with the hospitals, that has been postponed. Uh, so he continues in some pain. So let's continue praying uh, with him and that that'll be able to be rescheduled, but also be praying with our hospitals and all of those, our medical staff and facilities uh, that are overwhelmed right now. Uh, let's be praying uh, with them and for them as well. Any praise reports or prayer requests this morning? Bear. Um, for the Paris Church, um, COVID has struck them very hard. Hmm. And uh, Terry, the guy that, does a lot of the sink operations. He's in the hospital with uh, lung infection, very bad. Okay, so let's be praying for the parish church, that congregation, and that's why it is important to have our precautions in place and to be very careful. Uh, and sometimes, even when you're careful, uh, things can spread. So let's be praying for them, and in particular for Terry, that is in the hospital. I do have a good news update. Uh, my in-laws are doing much better, so we called on them to check and see how they were doing, and mom was out getting her nails done, and dad was working in the yard, so, uh, so that's good news. Uh, they're, they're doing much better. So any other praise reports or prayer requests this morning? Phyllis. Okay, I'm gonna have the surgery to the class on the 23rd. Okay, so 23rd of this month, right before Christmas, uh, you're gonna go in and be able to have a surgery to okay all right phyllis well we'll be praying with you as you yes you'll be able to go into christmas knowing that everything's taken care of and uh, god is good so amen all right we'll be praying with you any other chuck my sister Jana that just lost her husband um her daughter her daughter took her into the emergency this week and they uh did some tests and she has some stress Couple stress fractures in her back, 
Okay, which is very concerning, I'm sure. You go in for one thing and you discover something else is going on. So we'll be praying for Janet uh, for her continued. She just lost her husband recently, which is your brother-in-law. And now she's got issues with her back and a, a spot on her kidney that is of concern. So we'll be lifting her up. I'm going to repeat everything for the for those that are watching online and those that are outdoors that can't hear you. Uh, someone suggested passing a mic, but we don't want to do that right during this season of COVID. So, Gloria. Jody got some test reports back and the doctor said he wants her to go to a rheumatologist. And she can't get in until March. Oh, okay. She's having a lot of pain and dealing with a lot of things. All right, so let's be lifting up Jody. Uh, it's really a terrible time to have to have anything done. Uh, because of all that's going on and our hospitals being overwhelmed. So she's going to have to wait till March in order to have a follow-up with this. Right. <laughs> we know it's a real waiting list at this point. So, And so she's going to be continuing, uh, apart from God's intervention, with dealing with this pain until at least that point. And even the outcome doesn't look like a good All right. So that's still, this is the best we can do. So... All right, well, let's lift up Jody because God is able and can do more than we can ask, think, or imagine. So let's continue praying and lifting her up. And any other praise reports or prayer concerns this morning? Faith. Um, our grandson, Ryan, had some testing done at Health Boss. Okay. And they don't have any definitive answers yet. He has a lot of digestive problems. He was a preemie, so he's always had problems, but they've gotten worse. Okay. Oh. And he had a bad reaction to that, and he wasn't very happy. Right, so it sounds like there's a lot of complications making it difficult to even treat him. Right, All so right. Um, they're waiting for more test results. They did a lot of biopsies from, mm -hmm. from top to bottom. Okay. Entire. So we'll be lifting up Ryan as he deals with these digestive problems and tries to find solutions and all of the complications that make that difficult. So. Yeah, no. Okay. And this is the appointment, did you say, on the 8th? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So that's but still... We're also a little scared of what we may hear too. So. Right, absolutely. We'll be glad to have that behind us. Yep, absolutely. We'll be praying with you, and uh, well, God has brought you this far. He's going to bring you through. So it's been tough, but God is with you. It's been a long haul. I had read something the other day that said, you know, the promise wasn't that God would remove the storm. The promise was, I will be with you. And, uh, and that indeed is true, that we can testify to. So we're always glad when he takes the storm away too, or at least calms it. So, amen. Any other praise reports or prayer concerns this morning? Uh, in your bulletins, you should have received uh, some flyers on, from Open Doors USA on the persecuted church. Uh, in particular, there's a highlight on the church in Bangladesh and the persecution that they've been suffering. And so we're going to continue praying for uh, the church in Bangladesh this morning as well. And of course, we'll continue lifting our country up for all, and our world for all that's going on. We can share a little bit of joy, too. We got a call last night that we have another granddaughter engaged. Oh, I, I saw pictures on Facebook. Yeah, congrats. So uh, the, the DeMonts have a granddaughter that is uh, recently engaged. So it warmed my heart because Carl and I got engaged right at Christmas time uh, 22 years ago. <laughs> so uh, so it's a good time to get engaged. So And remind me of her name? Amy. Amy. It was Amy. So good. And Amy has been here often and the son here. And so, uh, so we're rejoicing with that. So their engagement. Good. All right. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we give you thanks. Uh, you're a good God and you are with us. And there are incredible things to rejoice about. Uh, there is plenty of hope this season. Uh, we thank you for Amy. We rejoice with her as uh, she's engaged. And uh, of course, we think of all the Wybinga's grandkids, uh, four of which got uh, married uh, over the course of the summer and uh, more to come. And so there are still, life still is going on. And we are so grateful for that. Uh, Lord, we lift up this morning, friends. We think of those that are 
uh, in the midst of testing or awaiting procedures, some being postponed. We lift up Bob and uh, Steve and uh, as they get to go in on the 8th and uh, glad that they're able to go in, but just a little bit tentative about what the report is going to be. So uh, may we place our lives completely into your hands and trust you for all the outcomes. And we know that this has been a difficult journey, but you have indeed been the God uh, who has been with the Steckety family through this. And we thank you for their faith and their faithfulness in the midst of it. Uh, Lord, we also lift up Ryan as he's been undergoing different tests and dealing with this uh, long-term digestive problems and other issues and allergies and ailments. And uh, we just pray as these test results come back uh, that we'll have a way to move forward for healing, for restoration. Uh, Lord, we lift up Janet as uh, she's going in for issues with her back and then now the spot on the kidney that has become a concern. Uh, we just pray uh, for the most positive reports possible back, for healing, for restoration, and for a faith that will sustain her in the midst of the loss of her husband, but also these other complications and, and things that are coming up uh, that were unexpected. Uh, we lift up our sister Phyllis as she gets ready to go in for the surgery on the 23rd. That will indeed be a Christmas present to be able to know that this is resolved and taken care of and put behind her. Uh, we thank you for her vibrancy, for her faith, uh, and for all that you brought her through. Uh, she certainly is an encouragement to us uh, with her good attitude uh, and her, her positive notion of just living life to the full in you. Uh, we lift up our country, Lord. And we just pray for all that's going on with the messiness of this past election, uh, with the, the, the dis-ease that is going on uh, among many. And uh, we are praying uh, for your peace. And we are praying that we, as your people, would be caught up more in the faith than we are in uh, the political waves that, and the winds that go each way. Uh, that we trust that you are God and that Christ is upon the throne. And our desire is for the very best for our country. And we pray for a peace that helps us to see one another, to hear one another, to look out for the best for one another. Uh, and let that begin with us. Let it begin in our homes and let it extend to our neighborhoods uh, and to all of our workplaces and the places that we find ourselves. But may it also extend to the conversations that we have about such topics as well, uh, that there might be grace in the midst of all of this. We pray for our health workers and all of those that are on the front lines. Uh, we just pray for their safety and protection and that we would do our part to be able to be a part of making sure that we don't overwhelm these hospitals and uh, that we stay safe and don't pass anything on. We thank you for vaccines and we know that there's all kinds of uh, procedures that have to be gone through to, for them to be able to get to the places that they need to be, to the most vulnerable. Uh, and we just pray for the systems uh, to be able to fall into place and that we would be able to work in a bipartisan way to be able to care for all those uh, that are in need of, of this. We pray for those that also don't uh, know about the vaccines themselves. And we just pray, Lord, that in the midst of this, we would find some sort of place where each of us can be able to make the decisions that we're able to make with as much wisdom and discernment as possible and conviction and allowing freedom to others to be able to make their decisions as well. Uh, we lift up Bangladesh this morning and our brothers and sisters there, uh, many of whom are celebrating Christmas in, uh, in such ways that place them uh, at greater risk, uh, that uh, they are going to stand for their faith and they are going to uh, follow Christ with boldness. Uh, so we pray for protection for them in the midst of this, uh, for wisdom and discernment, uh, but we also pray that they're able to live their faith and share their faith. Uh, and we pray, Lord, that those that are against them would ultimately come to see the light, even as Paul did, and that many will come to know you through our witness. May we watch our brothers and sisters who are in places of real persecution to understand what real persecution looks like and what real Christian witness looks like as we respond in love and in grace, believing that our testimony uh, is powerful and our desire is not to overcome our enemies or to, uh, or to put our faith uh, in the face of our enemies in such a way to, to show them uh, that we are free to do whatever we want, but is in a way that we can actually draw others to Christ. Uh, so may we watch our brothers and sisters around the world 
uh, that we might learn from them what it means to walk in grace and love and to share Christ in a way uh, that actually anticipates that others will be drawn in. This can be done by the power of your spirit at work within us. We pray all these things in Jesus' name, and we pray the prayer that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. We aren't passing an offering, but there are offering boxes at the backs of the sanctuary, and there are plates in the fellowship hall as well. And you can also give online, uh, uh, evergreencovenant.org. There is a link to be able to give online, and that's through uh, managed through uh, our larger denominational system and has many face, uh, uh, many, uh, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Um, safety features. Uh, involved in it as well so that your information stays safe and that will go directly to uh, the Evergreen bank account and there will be a record of that and so uh, we thank you for those that continue faithfully giving uh, through this time and season.